What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to be doing a reading for all my Libra Sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of September 23rd and October 22nd, then you are a Libra Sun sign and this video is for you. Today we're going to be doing a look ahead at the month of December for all Libra sun signs. This spread is going to tell us what past, present, and future energies are surrounding you, what to hold on to and let go of in the upcoming month, and what obstacles and lessons are going to be on your path in the month of December. So basically it's designed to give you a leg up on the month of December so that you can make it the best month possible. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to my crystal friends. I've got my sodalite sphere as I have on every tarot reading I do, so you guys know him already. And I wanted to bring some energy and some vitality to this reading, so I brought a natural citrine point, known uh, for their vibrancy, and I also brought a heliodor. Oh, heliodor, it's a member of the barrel family, and like citrine, it emits a very warm, sunny, summertime type energy. So that's what we got going on here in the middle of December. Well, it's not quite the middle, but uh, anyway, today I'm going to be using my Llewellyn Tarot, and this tarot deck has been with me for a long time, and it's finally made its transition to fully customized. That's right, I edged the... Oh, hello. I edged the edges, and uh, now we got a fully custom deck, and I love this thing so much, so we're going to get some mileage out of it. All right, so if you would please give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards a question. What are the energies surrounding Libra sun signs in the month of December? All right, that ought to do it. We'll cut the deck. I'm going to deal out eight cards. Alright Libra friends, and while we're at it, we're going to consult the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And we're going to ask the Psychic Tarot of the Heart what message it has for Libra Sun Signs in the month of December. What message for Libra Sun Signs in December? And we're going to take a look at this card at the end. All right, Libra friends, let's get into it. Uh huh. I see some swords and some wands. An interesting mixture here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll look at this card, at these cards individually, see what they have to say individually, and then we'll look at them as a whole to see uh, what message they have together. So uh, the first card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents the energies of last month, so the energies of November, and we've got the Ace of Wands. I get the feeling here that November was a time for a lot of you to start new projects or to uh, put new energy into new things. So I do feel as though something kind of new started last month and you are, were feeling pretty optimistic about it, pretty energetic about it. And uh, yeah, I feel as though that you put a lot of energy into this thing, this new thing that uh, came up. and. You know, this is a general reading, and so take what works for you, leave the rest, but you really have to apply these cards to your life. And uh, how does the Ace of Wands apply to your life? The Ace of Wands is about uh, following your energy, following your intuition, uh, and putting it into a new direction, basically. So how did you put your energy and your intuition into a new direction in November? And um, I do feel as though that there was some positivity surrounding this, like you guys were ready to do it. Okay, so let's move on over to this card. This next card here represents the current energies, the present energies, and we've got the Two of Swords. All right, looks like you guys have come to a crossroads, Libra friends. Like you're trying to decide between a couple of things. 
and you're not 100% sure which direction to go. It could be related to the thing that you started in November. It's very possible. Um, but the indecision here makes me think that uh, you really you really have no idea which way to go. <laughs> like you're, you're caught uh, at a crossroads and you don't know which trail to go down. And uh, the feeling I'm getting here is of just kind of powerlessness, feeling powerless. Uh, as a result of not maybe not having enough information to make that decision or that choice and uh, just a, maybe a period of waiting now at this time as you you know wait for more information to come in so that uh, the direction that you should be going in is clearer and I know this is a little bit vague and that's intentional because like I said this is a large group of people I'm reading for but figure out what this card means for you all right this next card here represents uh, the energies of next month so the energies of December and we've got a knight of swords All right, so while indecision may be the the mode you're in now, I do feel as though December is going to be a time for movement. And there's going to be uh, a decision has been made. You're going to make your decision, and you're really going to uh, back it. And um, maybe not back it so much with, like, energy and emotion, but more back it with your thoughts. So to me, this is like your thoughts really um, being put to work. So while yes, maybe this at this current time, maybe a lot of you are feeling indecisive, I feel as though December is going to be a very decisive month, the opposite of what's happening now. Uh, you're going to make a decision, you're going to run with it, and you're going to express it. You're going to express yourself and express your ideas clearly and, and put them into motion. So December is going to be a time for expression. It's going to be a time for... Um, making a decision and sticking with it and pushing forward in that decision interesting okay all right libra friends next we're going to move on to this card this card represents what to hold on to in the month of december we've got the six of wands uh hold on to your confidence hold on to your pride because you might be asked or you might be put in a position to be a leader. You might be find yourself in a leadership role in the month of December. And if you find yourself in that role, no matter how small or insignificant you might think, people are going to look up to you for guidance, for advice, for you know setting an example. And if you don't have confidence in yourself, you don't have pride in, in you and what you're doing, what you stand for, then you're not going to be a very good leader and people are going to sense that and you know no one's going to really follow you. So. Uh, Definitely, there's no shame in being prideful about your work and yourself and you know how many uh, obstacles you had to overcome to get to this point. There's no shame in that. You should be proud of yourself and uh, you should be confident in yourself and there shouldn't be any second guessing when it comes to the self. You always make the right decision, whether you realize it or not. And the times you made the wrong decision was actually the right decision because it taught you more than if you had made the other decision. Right? The more hardships we go through, the more we learn. So you've never made a wrong decision, so have some confidence in yourself. By goodness. All right? That's what to hold on to in the month of December. Let's move on over here. This card represents the biggest hurdles or obstacles you're likely to face in the month of December. We've got the Page of Swords. Give me a moment with this card, please. I'm getting the sense of another person who's not very honest, who's not very truthful, who means to deceive, maybe not intentionally, maybe it's just who they are at a subconscious level, but I do feel as though that there may be someone in your life, and you know, this is a page of swords type person, someone who is kind of immature when it comes to their words and their thoughts, and they really don't worry, they don't worry about offending other people or saying the wrong thing, they just say what's on their mind, uh, but I do feel as though this person is, is kind of deceptive, and I, you know, you know who this person might represent. It could represent you, and you could be the one deceiving yourself. That is entirely possible. But for the most part, I think the majority of you are going to find that this is another person in your life. And don't worry about the gender. It's male or female neutral, this card. It's just someone who's a little bit immature with the things they say and with the things they think. And they're just, you know, that type of person who's always talking but never really saying anything. <laughs> okay, uh, That's the sort of person who I think is going to maybe try to lead you astray or get in your way this month. So if you do feel that, if you recognize this person uh, as it's happening in December, just 
disconnect. Just disconnect. That's my best advice for you. It's, it's not going to serve you in any way. It's going to take you down the wrong path, and it's going to waste your time. So if you do feel this person coming on, you know what to do, okay? Tell them James sent you. <laughs> okay. All right, this card here represents uh, what to let go of in the month of December. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Give me a moment here. Okay, so it's a weird vibe I'm getting from this card, but what you need to avoid this month is the the need, the desire and the need to just have a perfect little life with everything in the right place. Um, that's never going to happen, okay? In, in your whole life, that's never going to happen. So if you keep waiting for this moment or this period, uh, you're going to be caught out in the storm, okay? You're not gonna, it's not gonna go well for you because, you know, there's always, your ego mind is always gonna tell you you need something else in order to be happy. You need this, you need that. Even if you got a trillion dollars, then your ego mind is gonna tell you something else that you gotta have, right? Or your emotions aren't gonna be satisfied. But there's no satisfying you. You're never gonna be satisfied from outside influences. True and utter happiness comes from within. So this card is asking you in the month of December to let go of the need for all your little uh, things to be perfectly placed. To have the nice, perfect little house, perfect little car, perfect little kids, okay? Nothing is ever going to be perfect. And if you're always striving for that, you're never going to attain it. And your life is going to, you know, one day you're going to blink and you're going to be 89 years old on your deathbed. Still waiting for that perfect life, okay? So realize that your life is already perfect right now, regardless of exterior circumstances. If you realize that, my friend, you are going to, your life is gonna be, you're gonna be on the right track forever, okay? And I, that's no, it's easier said than done, obviously. Um, but that's something to work towards this month and try to avoid that. Try to avoid thinking that something's gonna come and make you happy. No, it's not. Something might come and improve your happiness momentarily, but true, lasting happiness can only come from within. It cannot come from without. All right, this card here represents the energy of the people around you in the month of December. We've got the Five of Pentacles, not the most ideal card, okay? Uh, I think the energy that a lot of people in your life are, are going to embody in December is the energy of lack is the energy of poverty. Maybe not literally poverty in the sense that, you know, they can't afford to eat, but poverty in the sense that their ego, their mind is telling them they need more stuff in order to be happy. Didn't we just talk about this? Uh, so definitely I'm getting the feeling here, friends, that you may have to go it alone a little bit this month. I don't mean you're going to go hide in a cave, but I think you're going to be better served this month. You're going to be more productive and things are going to go smoother if you don't allow the energy of poverty and lack to influence you. And you're going to do that by staying away from people. Now, yes, individuals in your life are going to have very uplifting, happy overall energies and by all means spend time with them. But you can sense the people who are kind of... Uh, dwelling in a more negative space where you know they're they're mad at the world they got a chip on their shoulder they think they're owed something and they're not gonna be happy until they get that something those people you need to disconnect from this month especially but you know after this month forever okay those are not the type of people you need in your life they're just gonna bring you down and try as you might you're really not going to help them uh, it's their own battle they have to recognize their own power as you have uh, in order to change so you're not really going to help them so just uh, disconnect and uh, wish them luck you can send them positive energy but I wouldn't let them bring you down if you can avoid it all right this last card here represents the biggest lesson you're likely to learn in the month of December and we have uh oh more sword energy a lot of sword energy here we got the five of swords To me, this card right now is saying, go with the flow, um, especially when it comes to your thoughts. Um, yes, you're going to run into people who have different opinions than you. Yes, some of them are you know, going to be dead wrong. Some of those people are going to be absolutely wrong. And you have two options. You can stop on your quest, argue with them, debate with them, give them facts and figures. But let me tell you what's going to happen. Their mind is not going to be changed because they already had their minds decided. 
So you can go that route if you want, and then you're going to realize that you just wasted all that time and you, you solved nothing. And in fact, they were able to bring you down to their energy, their lower vibrational energy, and no one wins. That's your first option. Or you can just ignore it and let them go about on their way. You know, they're wrong. That's fine. And they're going to figure it out to themselves, okay? So there's no need to try to um, sacrifice your energy in order to, to show them the way. Um, just let them go about their business. That's the best advice I can give. And I think that's what you're going to learn this month is that you'd always have those two options. And whenever you come across one of these people, maybe it's him or her, um, just let them be. Okay. There's no, there's no arguing with them. There's no changing their minds. Just let them be. They'll learn the hard way and you can go about your life, not having to be uh, dragged down to their energetic level. All right, so looking at these cards as a whole now, I do see some sword energy here, but it's a lot of it's coming from, actually, never mind. Some of it's coming from the, the, the self, you. Others, uh, others uh, it's coming from outside sources. So uh, as far as, you know, the progression here, I see it as though, like, November was a time to start something, but I, I feel like you've hit a hiccup right now, a little speed bump, possibly, and you're not really sure what to do next. There's a period of indecision at this time, but rest assured, Libra friends, that December is going to be a time for you to get on your horse and ride. You're going to make a decision by December, and you're going to really push push it. You're going to put some energy into it and put it out there and let it be known to people that this is my intention and this is what I will be doing. Whoever wants to come along for the ride, saddle up, <laughs> okay? Um, be confident. Hold on to your confidence. Uh, you may be asked to be a leader for some reason in some capacity this month, and you're going to have to be confident and self-assured and just full of yourself in a good way in order to be a good leader. So confidence is key this month. Hold on to that. Uh, if there is a person in your life who is dragging you down, who's you know full of the ego, uh, is always trying to prove something and... Um, maybe is a liar or manipulator you know what to do i've already said it cut those cords you don't need that in your life libra friends you're on this path that doesn't really concern them and that kind of energy is going to bring you backwards uh, remember that you're, you can be happy right now you don't need anything else in order to be happy you've got everything you really do and I mean, what you, you got a roof over your head, you got internet connection, you got a phone or a computer, you got food, you got clothes, come on. You got it all. You don't need any extra things to make you happy. Be happy right now, okay? And uh, the people in your life this month seem to be of a lower vibration is the gist of the, the feeling I'm getting here, okay? So if you do feel lower vibration people sucking energy from you this month, you know what to do, Libra friends. Cut those cords. Say no. Stand in your power. You are confident and you are self-assured and you don't need their validity. You don't need them to um, validate you in any way, okay? All right, and uh, the biggest lesson you're going to learn is you can go through these people, yes, or you can go around these people. Which do you think is going to result in a happier life for you? Well, I've already said it. <laughs> you may disagree, but that's just my opinion. It's better to, to go around these people rather than to confront them because you're all going to be left holding the bill at the end. All right. Cool. All right, before we go, we asked the Psychic Tarot of the Heart what message I had for all my Libra friends this December. And we've got Sacral Chakra. Oh, this card has been coming up a lot. Wow. Oh, the message just hit me in the face. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The Sacral Chakra is the part of your body that says, I am confident. I am creative. I am me. And I'm going to do what I want to do. And no one else can tell me otherwise. That's the sign of a strong Sacral Chakra. And that's something that you're going to have to work on this month. You're going to have to work on saying no to people this month. That's going to be, get used to it. No, I don't want to do that. I don't feel like doing that. I don't want to go there. These are the things that you're going to have to say this month when people try to bring you down. I don't agree with you, but I'm not going to argue with you. And then walk away. <laughs> right? Um, you got to work on the sacral chakra. That's going to give you the power to do all these things, to say these things. 
Uh, and so meditations, of course, balance those chakras out. Uh, if you like to work with crystals, I always say my favorite sacral chakra crystal is the sunstone, Indian sunstone. I love it so much. Work with Indian sunstone if you don't, um, if you if you're not familiar with it. It's a it's a beautiful crystal that's going to really uh, help you open up your orange sacral chakra. There's a whole bunch of other orange chakra crystals that you can use that's just my favorite that's my personal recommendation uh, but uh, stand up for yourself right yeah stand up for yourself Libra friends you've got the confidence you can do it all right that is the reading I hope you got something out of it um, remember this is a general reading and it's applies to a large group of people but if you want a specific reading tailored just for you then you can head on over to my etsy shop the link is in the description below and you can check out the various readings that i offer there so that you can um we can work together to bring healing and to bring clarity into your life so i'd appreciate it if you go check that out if you like this video please consider hitting that like button it lets me know that you enjoyed it, got something out of it, and that I should continue to make these videos. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. I love to hear how you uh, react to these readings. I really do. I'd appreciate that. And if you really enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos from these bi-monthly tarot scopes to weekly readings to deck reviews and all sorts of different spread videos. Oh, don't, you don't want to miss out. Just hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Thank you. Come again. All right, Libra friends, it's a month for you to stand up for yourself, to come into your own, to make decisions, and to just be happy. You've got it all already. The only thing that's really bringing you down is, you know, the energies of others. And that's a, a big issue for, the, for this month. But you can do it. You can clean up your energy and clean up the energy around you, and you are going to be on the path towards ascension. All right. That is the reading. Thank you, Libra friends. I hope you have a great month. Leave a like if you enjoy this. Happy tarotting. Peace.